Hey y'all and welcome back to my channel. Today we're doing a really exciting video. So I wanted to create for y'all a really good makeup starter kit. So whether you are a beginner, you don't have any makeup and you just don't even know where to start, or you have a few items but you want to build on your collection. I've been wanting to create this video for a while but I wanted to make sure that I really nailed down the products that I think are essential because I don't ever want to tell y'all that you need to go buy a product if I don't 100% back the product. Um, I am going to be showing you a variety of different products so this may look like a lot of makeup but actually you're only going to need half of this because I'm giving y'all different options. So if you prefer creams or you prefer powders or you have a more oily skin type or a more dry skin type, I definitely give you a lot of variety and a lot of different options. So don't feel like you need all of this makeup and as we go through the tutorial you'll kind of see what I'm talking about but I just wanted to give y'all a good kind of first step into really building a solid makeup kit that has everything you need for any kind of look whether you want something more dramatic or you want something more natural and just kind of good for every day so before we get into the video if you haven't already please subscribe to my channel and then also while you're at it click the notification bell that'll notify you every single time that I post a new video which is every Monday Wednesday and Friday so if you want to see all my recommendations of drugstore makeup to either build your first makeup kit or to just add on to what you already have then just keep watching all right guys so i have everything in this nice compact bag and like i mentioned before this is actually more than what you're going to need because i did include different alternatives and um, both cream and powder products in here so um, you won't even need this much so if you've been watching my channel for any length of time, you know how important skin prep is to me. So I think having a really good moisturizer for whatever your skin type may be, just in your makeup bag, in your kit, is going to be crucial. So two that I really like to use, just depending on how my skin is doing. Uh, first, I have the Cetaphil uh, Moisturizing Lotion. This is just a little travel size, and I like to keep this um, kind of right over here where I keep all of my primers and everything. This is a really great, uh, just very lightweight moisturizer, and it's really good for sensitive skin as well. It doesn't have a fragrance. It just kind of gets the job done. Done, no bells and whistles so this is a really nice one to have I do have very dry skin at the moment so the one I've been reaching for recently has been the Nivea cream so you may not like either of these whatever moisturizer that you incorporate into your everyday skincare routine you can use that moisturizer these are just two that I really like they're very basic um, and they don't have any fragrance and they're good for sensitive skin so I'm gonna go in with my Nivea cream and apply this all over my skin properly hydrating your skin is going to make your make makeup application so much easier your makeup is going to look so much better on your skin so i highly recommend just make sure that you hydrate your skin whatever product that may be but it truly is a part of the makeup routine because it's going to make everything else just look so much better Okay, so for primer, I wasn't going to include any kind of primer, but I'm going to show you two primers that I love, and I think that y'all might actually find beneficial. So the first is the Neutrogena Healthy Skin Primer. This has an SPF of 15, which is nice. Um, it says it has an exclusive antioxidant blend in here. That's not really the reason why I love this primer so much. I like this one because it's very, very simple. It's basic. It helps just to kind of smooth out the skin. It's not going to control oils. It's not going to blur your pores, but it's just kind of a nice added extra step for moisturizing the skin and really prepping it for makeup. So this is one of my favorites and I use this almost every single time that I do my makeup. Now another primer that I like to use because I personally love a very glowy base is the L'Oreal True Match Lumi Glotion. I have the shade Light Glow. Now if you're oily or you don't like a very dewy finish, you can completely just disregard this skip this step but if you like more of a glowy finish to the skin this is hands down my favorite kind of more dewy luminous primer i love this now what i like to do is actually combine both of them together and just kind of make my own primer concoction this one cuts down on time and then i also just like the way that these apply together um, so i'm just going to apply this all over my face just like a moisturizer so for foundation now 
I think this is a difficult one because there are so many different preferences out there, so many different skin types, skin tones. So when I was thinking of a foundation, this is the one that immediately came to my mind and I recommend this one all the time. Um, but the foundation that I would recommend for a beginner or for someone who just wants a really solid foundation is L'Oreal True Match. I picked this one because I find that it works well with a variety of different skin types. So whether you're super oily, you're super dry, there are ways to, I guess, alter this foundation to make it work for your skin. You can also tweak the coverage of this foundation. It really is a customizable foundation depending on your preference. You can do one one solid layer across your face you're gonna get about a light medium coverage you can definitely build it up to more of a medium full coverage if you add a second or third layer and then for me what I like to do with this foundation is actually mix it in with my facial moisturizer and create my own uh, tinted moisturizer I'm just gonna apply a little bit of this foundation to my palette whoa I say a little bit and then I dump a bunch out and then I'm just gonna take a little bit of this Cetaphil moisturizing lotion and apply that to the palette just like that. I'm gonna mix these two together. So I personally like applying my foundation with my hands, but whatever your preference is, just do that, whatever you're most comfortable with. So I'm just going to take a good amount off of the palette, really warm it up in between my fingertips, and then I'm just gonna apply it all over my face just like a moisturizer. And for a concealer, hands down, my two favorite concealers of all time. I have the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer and I have the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind. The reason I picked two concealers is depending on your skin type, you're going to go with one or the other. So if you're a more dry skin type or you have a really dry under eye area and you really want more hydration, I would definitely recommend Maybelline Fit Me. Now if you're quite oily, you're probably going to want to go with the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind. This is definitely a much more dry formula. And it also has just a tiny bit more coverage than the Fit Me. So depending on your skin type and your preference, you can pick between the two. But I definitely wanted to include both. So because I have a drier under eye, I'm going to go in with Maybelline Fit Me. And I'm just going to concentrate this right where I have the darkness. You don't have to go in and apply a ton of concealer on your under eye because it's probably going to end up looking really cakey. So just apply a little bit at a time and only apply it where you need it. I get some redness around my nose, so I'm also going to apply it there. And then I'm just going to apply it on any areas where I have some discoloration or blemishes. Again, I'm just going to use my good old fingertips and blend all of this in. So I'm going to go ahead and finish up the complexion. So for bronzer, um, whether you want a powder bronzer or a cream or liquid bronzer, I have some recommendations. So for powder bronzer, one of my favorite bronzers from the drugstore is the Physician's Formula BB Bronzer. I think the full name is Glow Boosting Beauty Balm BB Bronzer. I have the shade Light to Medium looks like this clearly I love this one it says glow boosting but really it applies very matte on the skin but it's not a very harsh harsh matte which is why I like it so much I think it's very forgiving I love the tone of this bronzer it's not too warm it's not orange it's not muddy it's not too red it's that perfect kind of bronzer shade they do have different shades within this line but this is hands down favorite drugstore bronzer. If you like more of a cream formula like myself, then I would recommend going in with a concealer or a foundation that is a few shades deeper than your skin tone. So for example, I have the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Concealer. This is the concealer that I use in my shade, which is the shade Medium. This is the shade Caramel clearly it's a lot darker but this is such a great way to bronze up the skin using a cream and I find that if you have a concealer or a foundation that you just love the formula, it works really well for your skin, it's easy to blend, then why not use it as a bronzer? So I'm actually going to go in with a little bit of my Physician's Formula BB Bronzer today. And I'm gonna take this on a Real Techniques Duo Fiber Brush. I love this brush because it applies powders on top of creams very, very easily. So I first like to just take a little bit of the bronzer, kind of stamp it onto my skin. If you kind of immediately start going in and buffing, you can disrupt the foundation underneath. 
So I like to kind of pat it on first and then I can go in and buff it out if I need to. But this brush is very, very forgiving. It doesn't apply too much. It just applies a very, very light layer so that you can apply a little bit at a time. So I did not include a contour product in this because I don't feel like contouring is necessary. And honestly, I never contour. I just, I personally don't like how harsh it can look on the skin. I think there's definitely a time and place for it, but I think just for a, be a beginner or just kind of like an everyday makeup kit, I just don't find that it's necessary. So that's why I just included a bronzer. And for blush, two of my favorite blushes from the drugstore. One is cream, one is powder. First being the Wet n Wild Color Icon blushes. These are such a great formula. They have a bunch of different shades. This one in particular is pearlescent pink. I picked this one because this is just kind of a standard pink blush shade. Um, I think this will work for a variety of different skin tones. It is a pretty deep shade, so if you are more fair, just want to be a little bit more light-handed, but these are so, so pigmented, and they're very, very, very affordable. Another one of my favorite blushes are these e.l.f. cream blushes. I believe these are the Beautifully Bare cream blushes. This one in the shade Rose Royalty. Again, just kind of your standard pinky blush shade, but this is such a great blush formula because when you apply it, it's very creamy. It's easy to blend out. Out, but then it dries down and it does not stay tacky it dries down to almost a powdery finish so it's very easy to use and I find that it wears really well throughout the day so today I'm going to be using the elf cream blush there are two ways that I really like to apply this blush the first being just going in with my finger patting it on my skin and just blending it out Another way that I've been loving to apply this recently is with this e.l.f. small stipple brush. It looks like this, very affordable from the drugstore. I just go in to the pot just like that. I always like to take cream products on the back of my hand just to remove any excess so that I don't apply too much. And then I'm just gonna take this right on the apples of my cheeks. I kind of do these stamping motions. But this is such a nice brush for applying cream blush. <laughs> And for highlight, so I have a powder and a cream, or I guess it's a liquid highlight. The first is this Essence Pure Nude Highlighter. This is in the shade Be My Highlight. Um, this is a gorgeous, just everyday, very natural, lit from within type of highlight. I love this one. It's great for beginners. It's great for if you just like a really natural highlight. This is not going to be a super metallic highlight that's noticeable on the skin. I love this one. It's so pretty. It reminds me a lot of the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Powders. So that's a really great one. Um, if you prefer more of a liquid highlight like myself, the Me uh, Wet n Wild Mega Glow Hello Halo Liquid Highlighters. Now there are a ton of different shades. I have the shade Gilded Glow. This one works best for my skin tone. It's got this nice doe foot applicator so you can just go straight onto the face. And what I'm going to do, since I've already applied my blush and my bronzer, I'm just going to apply some to the back of my hand. And then I'm just going to take some on my finger. And I like to apply highlight just where the light naturally reflects off of my skin. I think it just looks the most natural that way. And then I also like to take a tiny bit down my nose. A little bit on my cupid's bow. And then a little bit on my chin. Now, if you are very, very, very oily, you might just want to skip highlighter altogether because you're naturally going to be producing a lot of oils on your skin that are going to give your skin that kind of glowy, luminous finish. Um, if you're just oily in certain areas, just avoid those areas. And then to ensure that all of the makeup stays in place all day long, I have one face powder that I recommend all the time. I love this face powder. It's so, so good and I'm, I'm just obsessed. This is the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Press Powder. Clearly, I love this. This is my second one, and I just, I can't get enough of it. I love it. It's great for setting the under eye. It's great for setting the entire face. Um, it's nice because it's got a very skin-like uh, satin matte finish. It's not matte by any means, and it's not luminous by any means. It just gives your skin a very natural skin-like finish. And I just like to tap this on my under eye very, very lightly. We're not applying a ton of powder, just a very thin layer just to set the concealer in place. And then for the rest of the face, I like to go in with a large powder brush, tap off any excess, and then I like to just kind of do this patting motion. 
so that I don't disrupt any of the makeup that I've already applied. If you immediately start buffing it in, you can move stuff around. So moving on to the eyes, I'm going to give you some suggestions on some brow products that I really like. The first being the e.l.f. Instant Lift Brow Pencil. This is a great $2 brow pencil from the drugstore. I love this. I've repurchased, repurchased this several times. And then, hands down, my favorite brow gel is the Maybelline Brow Precise Fiber Volumizer. Now, this is not 100% necessary. I think with this product, people either love it or they hate it. Um, this is a fiber gel, so it does have tiny little fibers within the, within the gel that are going to kind of grab onto your brow hairs, and it's going to make them look a lot more feathery and fluffy and voluminous. So if you don't like that look or if you don't like fibers, you may not like this. Another recommendation that I have, this this has been something that I've been doing from day one, ever since I ever started doing makeup. Uh, Maybelline Clear Mascara, or any clear mascara. Um, e.l.f. makes one. This one I always keep in my kit. It's just a really great standard mascara, and it's clear, and you can just run this through your brows. So whether you're using a brow pencil, or if you already have really naturally full brows, you can just take a little bit of clear mascara or clear brow gel, run that through your brows just to groom them a little bit, kind of give them a little bit of shape. Um, but that's also a really great way to kind of do your brows super easy and you don't have to fuss with filling them in. So I am going to go ahead and fill in my brows with this e.l.f. pencil. I like to focus this pencil just on the underside of my brow. I don't like to do anything too crazy. I like a quite natural brow, and I think brows um, really are a preference thing. Everyone has a different style, and so it's hard to kind of recommend different brow products because I find that different brow pencils, different brow gels, they all do different things. And then I'm going to go in with my Maybelline brow gel just to set them in place. And moving on to eyeshadows, this was a tough one because I wasn't sure if I wanted to include a palette that just had everything you could ever need, like a, a huge palette with just color, neutrals, everything. And then I was like, well, I want something that they can just throw in their makeup bag and it's just really easy to use. You don't have to think about what shades to use, what colors to use. Everything just kind of goes really well together and it's very mapped out already. So these are the LA Girl Eye Lux Mesmerizing Eyeshadow Quads. I have the shade Eternalize. This is hands down my favorite. I love these more mauve tones, so that's why I went with this one. But they have a shade for everybody, and I think these are $5. They're super compact. The packaging is actually really nice and sturdy, so you can throw this in your makeup bag, and you don't have to worry about it shattering everywhere. But hands down, just my favorite eyeshadow quads from the drugstore. These are so, so good. Um, so I'm going to use this today. Something else I wanted to mention, if you don't want to spend the money on an eyeshadow palette or eyeshadows, you can use your face products. So you can go in with your powder bronzer, you can run that through the crease or run that all over your entire lid, just kind of as a wash of color to give your eyes some dimension. That would be a beautiful eye look. You could then go in with your highlight, take a little bit of this on your finger, pat it on the center of your lid just for a little bit of shine, and that would be a gorgeous eye look. So you by no means have to go out and buy an eyeshadow palette, but I definitely wanted to include one that I thought was so, so good from the drugstore. Now in terms of eye primer, I say don't worry about it. I find that it's not necessary for every day. Um, you can definitely use your concealer to cancel out any veining if you have a lot of veins on your eyelids and you just want a nice clean canvas. Use your concealer, use a little bit of foundation, take some of your face powder and then set it down and then there you go, your uh, eyelids are primed. I just don't find that it's really necessary and I never use an eye primer. So I'm just going to go directly into the palette. I'm first going to go into this shade and I'm going to take this on a pretty fluffy brush and I'm going to run this all over my entire lid. And then I'm just going to take a clean blending brush and just buff this right on the outer edge of that shadow so that it's nice and seamless, there's nothing harsh. Alright, and then we're just going to keep this really simple. I'm going to go in with this dark shade right here. I'm going to try and use as many of these shades as possible so you can see how to use it. But I'm going to go in with this shade right here, which is the darkest matte in the palette. Same fluffy brush, and I'm just going to run this on the outer third of my eye. Just to give the eyes a little bit of depth. And then I'm going to go back in with that clean brush and just blend out the edge. 
it's nice and soft all right and then i'm gonna go in with this shimmery shade and i'm actually just gonna take that right on my finger and i'm just gonna pat that on the inner third and uh, all the way to the center of my lid now for the lower lash line you do not have to do this but i'm going to go ahead and apply some to my lower lash line so i'm going to go in with that first shade that we applied all over the lid and i'm just going to quickly run that on my lower lash line and then just for a little bit of highlight i'm going to go in with this matte it's not a white it's more of a cream shade and i'm just going to take this right here along the brow bone and actually I'm gonna take a little bit of this essence highlighter and apply this to the inner corners of my eyes now for mascara there are so many good mascaras from the drugstore and I find that like brows mascaras tend to be very preferential and it just depends on your style if you like really um, lengthened and separated lashes you may prefer one mascara if you like very voluminous kind of more clumpy lashes you're gonna like other mascaras so it really is up to your taste hands down my favorite mascara of the moment is the l'oreal voluminous lash paradise mascara i love this this is definitely more of that chunky uh clumpy voluminous type of mascara so i'm going to go ahead and curl my lashes i'm going to apply mascara to my top and bottom lashes off camera and then we'll be right back so I just applied mascara to my top and bottom lashes, and I actually have a tutorial for how I curl and apply mascara to my lashes. If you're interested, it's linked below, but it takes me forever, so I don't want to bore y'all. So this, we're almost done. All we have to do is the lip, but look how beautiful our skin look. It's all drugstore, affordable makeup, minimal makeup. I mean, there's really not a lot to this. So don't feel like you have to go out and buy a ton of makeup or have this huge makeup kit or makeup collection, which is all great and awesome and who doesn't love a ton of makeup, but it's just not necessary. So um, I hope that this is kind of inspiring you and helping you see that so anyway moving on to the lip I have two lip options of course um, so the first is one that's more natural and something easy that you can just kind of throw in your purse throw in your backpack put in your pocket and then reapply throughout the day this is something that I wear on a daily basis I cannot leave the house without it this is the Burt's Bees tinted lip balm I have the shade rose this is such a great formula it's so creamy on the lips it feels very hydrating and moisturizing and it's got a great color to it so that's what it looks like so it's got a nice bit of tint to it they do have different shades um, so if you don't want something so red you can get something a little bit more neutral but these are awesome i love them they're so easy to reapply you don't even have to have a mirror so easy love it the second thing that I'm going to recommend, this is for someone who wants a little bit more drama on the lips, um, wants something more defined, maybe not so fuss-free, but it's still pretty easy to apply. So this is the Soap & Glory Palette Standing Dumble Ended Lip Contouring Crayon. Oh my goodness, it looks like this. You have two sides to the crayon, so you have the lip liner and then the lip stick, I guess. Um, but that's what's so great about this product is you get a two-in-one, so you have the lip liner and the lipstick all in one you don't have to have two products in your purse it's all right here and the shades are corresponding they go together they work together so you don't even have to figure out oh what lip liner is going to go with this lipstick they have a bunch of different shades I have the shade uh, front page nudes which was one of the two nudes that they had in the collection they also have a beautiful red shade so that's what I'm going to be using today so I'm first going to go in with the lip liner side and just line my lips seriously so easy these are so creamy it applies like butter but then it's it dries down matte so it stays in place now the lipstick is not matte it's more of a sheen which I think is great because it's more comfortable on the lips it's a little bit more forgiving as well um, the only bad thing about the this type of pencil is that you need to invest in a sharpener that has a larger hole because um, these are not gonna fit in your standard pencil sharpener so this one's from NYX it works with the NYX jumbo eye pencils as well which is why I bought it um, but just make sure you have a pencil sharpener to go with it so now I'm gonna move on to the lipstick and I'm just gonna apply this all over my lips all right guys so that concludes this video I really hope you found this helpful so if you are a beginner or you're just starting out with your collection and you just kind of want to 
find a square one to start from and because I know the drugstore and just makeup in general there's so much new stuff coming out all the time and it can be really overwhelming and then when you're at the drugstore they don't always have testers so you just don't know what's good so I really hope this video was helpful in kind of pinpointing those products at the drugstore that I love and I think y'all are gonna love as well so if you like this video please give it a thumbs up I would greatly appreciate it I hope y'all are having a blessed week as always and I'll see y'all in my next video bye guys